welcome to episode two, guys. So, this is Grand Wolf. So that I think that was what we fought during episode one, one of the main things. But then remember, the last thing we killed was we killed the werewolf. We dropped a ton of rocks on it and beat it up with an axe. So, uh, movement is two times faster than a wolf, this grand wolf and stuff. And you use wolf traps, hanging nets, and uh, spike traps to kill it. So we're at chapter three, resentment and damnation. Two of my favorite things. Action points. It costs action points every time you place a trap. The amount of action points a trap costs to place is shown in the trap info, which appears when leaving your cursor over the icon. Some traps also cost money. To remove a trap, click on the trap removal tool, then select the trap. To remove all your traps, click on the remove all tool, then confirm. Traps disappear after one night, except those that cost money, which stay until used. Alright, that doesn't sound too bad. A tutorial on the bonfire. Ah, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Is it like a distraction? Bonfires. To light a bonfire, press E while close by. If you're standing near a lit bonfire, it will significantly increase your fear factor. If you move too far away, you lose the bonus. Ah, uh, so it protects me. It's like a little shield and aura. This icon shows how much time is left before the bonfire goes out. So it's a time thing, so I gotta kind of do it, do it quickly. Loggers from W. Hood Company have opened up a new path. Uh, there are new paths every day. Make sure you take that into consideration when placing your traps. If you feel like you need a little extra help planning your strategy for the coming nights, you can hit on kick click the hints button. I don't think we need those. We need those guys. Nah, I didn't think so. Move the camera. Rotate by clicking the middle mouse button. Zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. All right. All right. So what's wave one? So wave one is two wolves. So if we set this is a wolf trap, hanging net, and a bonfire. So let's set a wolf trap there, and a wolf trap there. No, uh, remove that one. Let's set that one. So two wolf traps. There's a werewolf there, so I think if I can set a hanging net here, I can lure him underneath. Oh, and I have two grand wolves. No, let's set a, a bonfire here. Let's see what's wave two. Four wolves. Four wolves that are going to come from there. I'm going to think I set a second one of these traps. There's two wolves there. So, yeah, let's take a. Let's take the bonfire. Let's move it closer to the house. So we use the farther one to get rid of the werewolf, and then we'll use that one to get rid of the four wolves, hopefully. And uh, where are they attacking? House and house. Oh, these guys are going to attack the chicken farm. But the new path is there, so they're going to have to pass through. I think we're set. We've still got action points, but uh, these cost money. Free. Wolf traps cost money and bonfires are free. Oh, so we can set more bonfires. Set one there. We'll set another one here. I think three bonfires should be enough, but I think we'll set one here as well, just in case. And we'll set another one of these nets just in case. 
There we go. I think we're set. Start the night. Character menu. We haven't seen this before. Alright. Bring an item to with you, drag and drop it in your inventory to the empty space in your backpack. Experience. Uh, oh, I get skill points. I got one skill point to spend. Let's see. Rage 1. Marksmanship. Bloodthirst. Increased rifle reloading speed by 20%. Accuracy of automatic aiming by 33. After you kill an enemy meal of combat, you heal for 2% of your maximum hit points. Permits of acc the accumulation of up to 2 rage points. And the execution of an enraged attack causing additional damage. Uh, they hold the beast. Your bonfires stay lit for 20 seconds more. Let's get marksmanship. Marksmanship sounds pretty good. So then we go return. Eau de vie. That's a. Uh, it's pretty much just straight alcohol for anyone who doesn't know. Eau de vie was the uh, was what the, a lot of the French and English traders would trade to the Indians, or the Native Americans and uh, trade them for muskets and furs, well they, well, trade it for furs mostly. They'd also trade muskets for furs. Alright, I think that's enough, enough with the history lesson. Start the night. Got old brown bess. Sure you want to go do? Yeah, I've got items I don't need. Don't need no alcohol. My wolves found them, all three of them. They've cornered them in a cabin east of the village. Now, you have to sign this document for me. What? By signing this, you are giving me custody to all the souls of the villagers. When night falls, they will possess the beasts of the forest and transform them into werewolves that will carry out all of our orders. <laughs> out of the question. Fine. Signed under duress. I will never consent to your vile demands. Quiet, you whiner, and think of the pleasures you'll enjoy when our werewolves bring you back to the woman you desire. Also, how would you like to be appointed a cardinal in Rome? Is that Rome? how all the cardinals are placed is that there? Rome? That is my fondest dream. Wave one. Let's take out the wolf. Ah, you yellow bellied worms. Nice. We got him. What's this guy? Who's going for the chicken hut? No, 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 no. How did he make it through? Alright, let's reload this rifle. He must have made it through a trap. Get my butt. Uh, quick to the bonfire.
These wolves are terrifying. They're everywhere. Uh. Did I get him? Yeah. Reload quicker. And shoot that guy. Who's next? The grand wolf. Oh crap. Under attack. More, more bonfires. At least the house is under attack. And uh let's take you out. Oops. I released the button. Is this got a lot one? Last one? No, there's gotta be one more. Nice. I think that's everything. I survived. Woo, that was a little bit intense. Maybe I should have brought the alcohol. Some level three now. That was success. It wasn't bad. Wolvesvale. Since it was founded in 1848, the village of Wolvesvale has been always been led by two hardheads: the mayor Napoleon Robidou and the parish priest Elzar Chiasson. The local economy, based on lumbering without ever being prosperous, has still permitted the population to grow to almost 400 souls. That's not bad for a village. The atmosphere has, however, grown a lot tenser in the past few days. Since Josephine O'Carroll, whom now many call the Irish Witch, ooh, that's no good supposedly set fire to the church for obscure reasons. I don't even know if she's Irish. Oh, well, Carol, I guess. Ha! Well, hello to my saviors! Lord Almighty! What's the matter with your sister? Don't really know yet. Strange things are happening. Tell me about it. I was going to the W. Hood Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half-eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe, run to the village and get Dr. Lamontagne. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. Hmm. On the way to Wolfsville. Say, sister, don't suppose you saw Dr. Lamontagne in the village? My little sister's very sick and I was sent to get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch and that it was all her fault. I'm not surprised. So there's nothing you can do for us? The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessings? Bless me. Uh, I'm all yours. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Churches were big back then. Oh, the convent. Notre Dame. Oh, there are so many of them that are called that. The convent, you can bless your weapons and bullets. Increase their effectiveness against diabolic creatures. Oh, sweet. Uh, what if you could actually go to church and do that? Hey. Father, can you please bless my, my silver sword of killing werewolves? Uh, bless one of your bullets. Simply click the bullet item. the axe. 
bless some more bullets. Here, let's bless five. Five bullets. Mm, yeah. Blessed five bullets. And they do normal damage to regular creatures, but Will of the Wisp and the Werewolves do extra damage. Enter shop, just click on the building, return to your house, click on the road. Hotel. A general store. What's here? Hmm, maybe I should have saved some money. You can buy more bullets. And sell items. Best. <laughs> hmm. So I just bought myself a better rifle. Hardware store blacksmith. What's here? Oh, I can go buy better axes. I think I've got a blessed axe. Forest queen. Hmm. So I have no money to buy anything else this anymore. What I can do, let's see. Let's check out the hotel saloon, what do they have? Oh, I can buy beer and alcohol. The mayor and the church are closed, there's the convent. Let's return home. Tutorial movie for the bait. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. The more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish. So I got a werewolf. So they're all going for the house except for this werewolf. I'm not sure which direction he's going to go. But if he decides to go, what's this? Bait. I think he's gonna head this way probably. Well, let's uh. Set that up there. Can I put bait underneath it? I can. Awesome. There's a werewolf. That path isn't open yet, but there's a path open here. That werewolf, so I'd head for the house, so I have plenty of time to get him. This guy's heading for the chicken hut, so I really don't have time. Uh, set up some bonfires. Near the house. One near the chicken farm. I got some blessed bullets. Uh, so these guys will take out, take the bait. Here, let's set a bait over here. Which, do they cost money? No, they're free. Set a bait over there. Set up another wolf trap. Uh, wait. Yep. Let's get some money back. So let's set bait in the middle of the road. We'll set So instead we'll get rid of the bait there. We'll put the bait directly underneath the trap. And can we put a trap here? We can. So as long as we can get them underneath there. That should be good. Got a couple of bonfires. So as long as we can make it back. Do we have enough? Yeah, let's make one more here as a fallback. All right, and let's uh, let's see inventory. Put that there.
Rocky Mountain Rifle. Damage, range, reload. Let's just compare them. Oh, so this thing's really loud. But uh, that's okay. Oh, we got a new skill. Requires level 8. Uh, might as well upgrade the axe. So let's return home. Click return. Let's start this night. Uh, yeah. Five regular bullets, silver bullets. Those sound expensive. Imagine silver blessed bullets. Let's see, where do I want to go first? Scroll with the mouse wheel to select which type of bullet you want to shoot. Let's shoot regular bullets. Closer, you stinking little critter! What? How's the house under attack already? Oh my god. Start the fire. Reload some of these bullets. Yeah, I know the bait's being devoured. Headshot with a silver bullet. I really don't have much of a choice. Missed the headshot. And bang! I think he's dead. We gotta get over there. Oh, is there a second wave? I didn't even check. Reload our final silver bullet. And... Reload the rifle. Oh, let's get it. That was in the night. Ah, oh, that was a close one. I didn't even check to see if there was a second wave. Whew. Survive the night. Done, done. Got some money. Got some XP. Cabin took a little bit of damage. Hit level 4. Got a dollar. Nice. Well, I think that was the end of, uh, of episode 2. So, uh, I wish everyone a good night or good morning, wherever you may be, and uh, have fun.